Hello everyone, my name is Jason Clark from the Intellectual Property Office and I'll be taking you through a quick tutorial on how to create a WIPO file account. A WIPO file account would allow you to use our online filing system that can be accessed on our website. The first step in requesting a WIPO file account requires you to send an email to us. You simply would be sending the email to info at ipo.gov.tt, as you can see here. In the subject of the email, you can simply put requesting WIPO file account. In the body of the email, ensure to state your name, the organization you're associated with, if any, as well as the email address you want associated with the account. Once you have completed this, you simply click send. And that's it for the first step. Once we have completed step one in sending the email, in 24 to 48 hours, we will receive an email from the intellectual property office from a no reply at ipo.gov.tt account. And this email will contain the subject, welcome to e-filing powered by WIPO. And upon opening that email, we'll see that it contains the information needed to complete the registration process for our WIPO file account. In this email, you will see the email address associated with the account. You will see a hyperlink to continue the process of activating the account. You'll see another hyperlink that contains a user guide for using the WIPO file system. Any assistance required outside of the user guide, feel free to contact us using the number that you see in the email. For all filings that cannot be done using the WIPO file system, you can file by sending an email to filings at ipo.gov.tt with the appropriate subject matter, as well as the attached documents. So now we'll proceed to complete the registration process by clicking here to register and activate our account. And as you can see upon clicking the hyperlink, it took us to a page asking for some information. And we'll go through the different fields of the form. Login ID would be the login ID that we'll be using to log in to the WIPO file system. So we will call this jclark IP. Username is already generated with Jason Clark. Password, it must be at least six characters long, must have a number, capital letter and a special character. We will confirm password. And this checkbox that we see before us here is for if we want to use our same information as representative data. For So for this registration purpose, I will tick the checkbox. The radio buttons, individual and organization, Organization is if the account is associated with an organization and individual is if it's just for a singular person. So we'd leave it as individual. Agent identification number, this is not applicable. We can skip this field. User email, as you can see, it has been generated with the email that we wanted associated with our WIPO file account. An address street, we can enter that. City, we can also put in that. Zip code, we can skip this field as, as it's not applicable. And phone number, feel free to enter your phone number as it's a form of contact information. However, for demonstration purposes, we will not be putting in 
a phone number in this field. Representative type, we have agent, address for service, and representative. Agent is if you are a law firm, you would select agent. Your address for service is if you wish to use a different address from your actual address, such as to receive your mails or correspondence. Representative is if you represent someone. You're a singular person, you're not an agent. So for this purpose, we'd select representative. We'd select our nationality country, which is Trinidad and Tobago. State name, we had skipped this. And the final field is the capture to verify that we are not a robot. Once we have finished, we click Save. And as we can see, the profile has been created successfully. Once we click OK, re redirect us to the login page where we can test our email credentials. So user would be the login ID we provided, which is jclark IP. And password would be the password we also provide it. And once you have entered the credentials correctly, you can see we have successfully created our WIPO file account and we have logged in to the WIPO file system.